Okay, so whenever you encounter a patient of hyponatremia, first you try to look at whether what is the osmolality of the body, whether it is hyposmolar hyponatremia, isosmolar hyponatremia, or hyperosmolar hyponatremia. If it is hyposmolar hyponatremia, means you are dealing with true hyponatremia, and in the second step, you look at the fluid status of the body, whether the patient is hypovolemic, euvolemic, or hypervolemic. If it is hypervolemic hyponatremia, then you need to correct it by giving fluids to the patient. Because if you give 3% saline or other stuff, the sodium gets corrected very fast. So in hypervolemic hyponatremia, you correct it by fluids. But, but very important, if in hypervolemic hyponatremia also, the patient throws seizure or had neurological symptoms, you need to correct it by giving 3% saline and bring the sodium up to 4-5 mL uh, aggressively in the first 2-3 hours and over a period of 24 hours, it's the same range up to 10 mL per 24 hours. This is very very important, do read more about it.